What are the most iconic comic panels and pages of all time? It's funny you asked, because that's what we're going to cover today. What's up my comic comrades? Today we're taking on yet another massive task by narrowing down our picks for the 10 most iconic panels or splash pages in comic book history. Now lists like these are always subjective, but some of these are so iconic that almost no one could argue their influence on the medium or how they have stood the test of time as fan favorites. With that said, let's get this rolling with pick number 10. Kicking off our list is the first four panels on the first page of All-Star Superman issue one. So rarely has a single page consisting of four brilliantly yet simplistic panels capture the essence and origin of a character so well. These four panels on the single page recap arguably the greatest superhero of all time's origin, perfectly setting the stage for what would become one of the best Superman stories of all time. Even the captions on each panel are just two words each. The first panel reads, Doomed Planet, as we see Krypton erupt. The second panel says, Desperate Scientist, as we see Kal-El's parents mourning and hoping their son will get to safety as they wait to die. The third panel says, Last Hope, as we see their son rocketing towards Earth. And the last panel says, Kindly Couple, as we see the Kents find baby Kal-El on Earth. Again, it is so simple, yet it tells you everything you need to know about Superman's origin. It also did such a good job of reminding us what Kal-El went through to come to Earth and become its beacon of hope before giving us a story where we learn Superman is dying. Frank Quietly, the mastermind behind the art for this series, knocked it out of the park giving us one of the best summaries of an origin and panel layouts we've ever seen. Pulling us into the story right from the beginning. At number 9, we have the Scarlet Witch uttering the words No More Mutants in House of M, Issue 7. This simple panel that's just a close-up on Wanda's mouth as she says the words No More Mutants with tears coming down her eyes has become not just one of the most iconic panels in all of comic books, but one of the most iconic events and things to happen in comics, period. When this book came out and we learned that Wanda got rid of like 90% of all mutants just by saying three simple words, most of us were like, what the hell just happened? And we were all shocked for a number of reasons. One, the fact that she was powerful enough to get rid of almost an entire race of characters characters, but also the fact that Marvel was getting rid of the majority of their mutants. And the X-Men and the mutants are some of the most popular characters Marvel has, so it was a very daring move. No matter how you slice it, this moment made the House of M storyline a staple for Marvel and the X-Men comic books in general. To this day, us fans recall the time Wanda was like, no more mutants, and got rid of them. Even Wanda herself is still dealing with the ramifications of it, even trying to make up for it by gifting the mutants eternal life with the creation of their resurrection protocol. Next up, we have a personal favorite of mine, and that is the iconic Spider-Man No More panel slash page from Amazing Spider-Man issue 50. This is hands down one of the most iconic images in all of comic books, where Peter Parker, after years of being Spider-Man, is finally fed up with all the hardships being the wall crawler has brought him. J. Jonah Jameson constantly calling him a menace to the public, never being able to hang out with his friends or girls. He's just come to the point where Spider-Man is just making his life way harder than it needs to be. So while walking in an alley in the rain, he says to himself, there's only one thing left to do. I was just a young, unthinking teenager when I first became Spider-Man. But the years have a way of slipping by, of changing the world about us, and every boy sooner or later must put away his toys and become a man. As we see him leave his Spider-Man costume to trash can in an alley as he turns his back and walks away from his alter ego. This was a huge moment. You're talking about Peter Parker hanging up being Spider-Man, one of the three most popular superheroes in all of comic books. And the imagery has become seared into every comic fan since. So much so, it was even homage fantastically in Spider-Man 2, which which made most of us fans go, all in all, this was a hands down no brainer for this list. Next up, we have the panel and imagery from Crisis on Infinite Earths issue 8, where Barry Allen Flash sacrificed himself to save the universe. In this story, the Anti-Monitor plans to destroy Earth with his antimatter cannon, and the Flash was the only character that was fast enough to stop this as he created a vortex to suck in all the antimatter energy away from the cannon, but it killed him in the process, giving us this now famous imagery of Barry slowly shriveling away before he dies, but saving the world in the process. Barry's sacrifice would last for 20 plus years before he was eventually brought back. It was a death that many of us thought was permanent, as again, it lasted for two decades. Crisis on Infinite Earths is an iconic story all on its own, as it's responsible for resetting continuity for DC Comics. But without Barry's sacrifice, the heroes probably wouldn't have survived for the reset to happen in the first place. When you think of Crisis on Infinite Earths, this is most likely the image that comes to your head, as it's one of the most important sacrifices a hero has made in the medium, and helped define The Flash as one of the best comics has to offer. 
Next, we have the iconic cover page for Civil War issue 7, where Captain America is holding off Iron Man's repulsor blast with his shield. This is easily one of the most well-known images in comic books. And the funny thing is, it's not even an image from the interior pages of the book. It's used for the cover and cover page of issue 7 of Civil War. So while not technically a panel or a page from the actual story pages itself, it's iconic enough to be on the list. The image became even more popular when it was homaged in Captain America Civil War when Steve and Tony were fighting towards the end of the film, and man, was was it perfect? It was so cool to see this amazing imagery translated into live action and so well at that. It's a fantastic piece of art from one of the best Marvel stories of all time, which would later become one of the best Marvel movies of all time. No matter how you slice it, this image is perfection demonstrating how far two friends will go to fight for their own beliefs. Now we have an image that has been burned into my mind ever since I was a child, and that is Bane breaking Batman's back over his knee in Batman issue 497 from the Batman Nightfall storyline. This storyline proved that Bane is easily one of Batman's most terrifying and threatening villains. As in the story, we see Bane systematically tear Batman's life apart before ultimately sneaking into the Batcave, at which point he manhandles the Dark Knight, backhanding him and beating him senseless, before picking up Batman's broken, helpless body over his head while he tells Batman, I am Bane, and I could kill you. But death would only end your agony and silence your shame. Instead, I will simply, and then on the next page, he finishes the sentence giving us the iconic panel saying, break you, as we see Bane bring Batman's back down over his knee, quite literally breaking the bat and putting him out of commission for quite some time. You'd be hard pressed to find a comic page or panel that has widely agreed to be as impactful and iconic as this. This, like every other page and panel on this list, is something us comic book fans will reminisce and talk about forever. Here we have the return of Captain America in Avengers issue 4. This is the iconic issue where Captain America is found by the Avengers after being frozen on ice all these years. He's brought on board and then put in a bed, giving us the famous image of Cap lying there with a shield on his chest as Thor says, look, beneath his tattered clothes lies a colorful costume. Wasp then says, wait, don't you recognize it? It's the famous red, white, and blue garb of Captain America. With Iron Man saying, the Wasp is right. Thor then grabs his shield saying, can this really be the famous shield of the once mighty crime fighter? As they realize they found Captain America the first Avenger. As the issue goes on, Captain America wakes up and the Avengers explain everything to him with him ultimately joining the Avengers. Because let's face it, he's the first Avenger. In any case, the panel where he's just lying there and the Avengers realize they just found the mighty Captain America is easily one of the greatest moments and panels in all of comic books. Making it into the top three is yet another image that has been burned into every comic book fan's mind, and that is the last page of Superman 75, AKA the death of Superman. This is one of those images that transcends even the fandom as the imagery and event made mainstream news. Everyone in the country was talking about Superman's death. It was just crazy that DC decided to kill their flagship hero. At the time, comic book deaths were not that common, so this was a very big deal. And this double page spread on the last page shows us the Man of Steel lying there unalive as him and Doomsday just beat each other to death with Lois Lane crying hopelessly over his body as Jimmy Olsen captures the horrific moment behind her. We also get the symbolism of Superman's tattered cape waving in the back like a flag letting us know he won, but not without a cost as he lays in the rubble created by the battle between him and Doomsday. This is such an iconic moment for comic books, I wouldn't argue someone putting this as their number one as it was a massive moment for the genre. Runner up on this list is the Joker's origin page from The Killing Joke, specifically the iconic panel of Joker coming out of the vat of acid with his hand on his head as acid and blood drips down his eyes and mouth. This panel and imagery is easily one of the most used images for the Joker ever. It was drawn masterfully by Brian Bolin and the ha-has in the background just to pick the Joker perfectly going mad for the very first time. In a lot of ways, besides the panel just being downright amazing, it shows us the Joker emerging as the Joker for the first time, grabbing his head, laughing hysterically, again giving us the birth of the Clown Prince of Crime. I think this image single-handedly represents what and who the Joker is more than any other panel or image of him, which I'm sure is a big reason why it's become so famous. Coming in at number one is the final page of Amazing Spider-Man 121, AKA the death of Gwen Stacy. The death of Gwen Stacy was one of the biggest moments to ever happen in all of comics. It was such a big thing that it helped initiate the Bronze Age of comic books, a darker and grittier age of storytelling. In the last page of ASM 121, it really drove home that Marvel just killed Spider-Man's girlfriend, Gwen Stacy. We all know the infamous moment Green Goblin threw her off the Brooklyn Bridge and Spider-Man tried to save her with his web line, but 
the sudden stop in momentum breaks her neck. And on the last page, we see Spidey holding his dead girlfriend's body on top of the Brooklyn Bridge as he yells to the Green Goblin saying, I'm going to get you. I'm going to destroy you slowly. And when you start begging for me to end it, I'm going to remind you of one thing. You killed the woman I love. And for that, you're going to die. This image and moment just hit so hard for so many reasons. And because of that, it is burned into mine and I'm sure many of your heads. This is a death to this day, which is yet to be retconned, which only adds to the importance of this panel and moment. And again, it helped bring in a whole new era of comic books, the Bronze Age. But there you have it, guys, our picks for the greatest comic book panels of all time. Now it is your turn. What do you think are the 10 most iconic comic panels? Let us know in the comments below, and we'll see you next time when we talk about all things comics.